Hello! This video will cover how you can be more successful by using vein visualization for IV starts and for blood draw. The next vein is a handheld augmented reality device that shows the location of peripheral veins that may be appropriate for cannulation. Studies have shown that vein visualization can help with first stick success and in reducing patient pain, which can lead to improved patient satisfaction. Let's start by getting to know the system. There's two parts, the handheld vein finder and an optional hands-free stand. Using it as a handheld allows you to rapidly assess the patient and the hands-free stand allows you to quickly free up both hands to perform the cannulation procedure. To remove the device from the stand, press the button under the rear of the cup. To return the device to the hands-free mode, slide the device into the cup until you hear the latch click. The handheld device has three status indicators and five buttons. To turn on the device, press the power button for three seconds. You'll see the indicators light up once the device comes on. It will take a few more seconds for the projector to start showing veins. You'll notice that the power indicator and the battery indicator light up. The power indicator is on when the device is projecting. The battery indicator blinks slowly when the battery has a good charge and blinks quickly when it's time to recharge the battery. Additional battery information is available from the projection status icons that we'll show you in a moment. The indicator on the right tells you when the device is connected to the battery charger. When you are done using the device, press the power button. The power indicator will begin blinking to let you know the device is in standby mode. Pressing this button again will turn the projection back on. Standby is useful when you want to preserve the battery and still want to be able to quickly turn it back on again. After the device has been in standby mode for five minutes, it will turn itself off. Once the device is off, Remember to use the long press we described earlier to turn it back on. The long press is a feature that reduces the chance of the device turning on accidentally and draining the battery. We'll cover the remaining controls later in this video. To use the device, you simply hold it over the patient's skin at a distance of 8 inches plus or minus 1 inch. This extended working range makes it easy to properly position the device. An easy way to estimate the distance is to remember the device is 9 inches long. You'll know you're at the right distance if the words Projection Vein Finder are in focus. On the other side of the projection, there are status indicators. On the right, you'll see a battery icon. This icon shows you how charged the battery is. Before you start using the device to find veins, please remember that this is an assessment tool to help you select a vein for cannulation. You should rely on your training and skills, such as palpation. Also, techniques like tourniquets help engorge the vein and should be used to aid in vein selection. A useful approach to verifying vein patency is called the wipe technique. Properly used, this can help you verify blood flow in the selected vein and show you where the valves might be. The general idea is that by pushing the blood out of the vein, it will disappear from the projection. When you allow the blood to return to the vein, it will refill and then reappear in the projection. The device detects the hemoglobin in the blood that's filling the vein, not the vein itself. That's why this works. There are two wipe techniques that you can use depending on the vein. The simpler technique uses one finger to wipe outward to empty the vein. Press firmly when you're wiping. The vein will reappear after releasing the pressure. As seen in the video, sometimes the vein doesn't empty. This may be because the vein is filling from above. 
You can use a second finger above the wipe position to prevent that refill from happening, so you can successfully empty the vein. Releasing the pressure allows the refill. You'll see the vein reappear. All veins have valves that keep venous blood flowing back to the heart. It's helpful to avoid valves when cannulating, as puncturing the valve might be painful and having the end of the catheter rest against the valve might interfere with the IV or blood draw. In addition to patency, the wipe technique can help locate valves. When you wipe past a valve, only the vein segment below the valve will disappear. You can infer the location of the valve by the appearance of the wiped vein as shown here. Once you've selected and verified the vein, continue with the venipuncture following your facility's standard procedures. The device has different projection settings that you might find helpful, depending on the patient and your personal preference. Pressing the A button configures the projection to show a dark vein image on a green background. Pressing the B button configures the projection to show a green vein image on a white background. Pressing the C button configures the projection to show a green vein image on a small-sized dark background. When you're not using the device, it's a very good idea to keep it connected to a charger. This has two benefits. Most importantly, it will be ready to use when you need it, but it will also help extend the battery lifetime. While the LED light of the projection is safe, it's always a good idea for patient comfort to avoid shining the light into their eyes. Like any bright light, it may cause discomfort. Always follow your facility's cleaning protocols. To clean the device, use a pre-moistened towel with 75% alcohol or benzylconium bromide. Please check our support site at support.nextvein.com for other approved materials. Make sure that the cloth is damp, not wet, as it's important to avoid getting liquids inside the device. If you happen to notice a spot or spots on the projection that move as the device moves, it indicates that the projector lens is dirty. Use an alcohol wipe to clean the lens to remove the spots. Remember, it's important to read and understand the user manual that is included with the system, or download a copy at support.nextvein.com. Thank you for viewing this video. You're on your way to greater cannulation success with the aid of a vein visualization device. For more information, visit our support site at support.nextvein.com. It has lots of useful information and a knowledge base about our products and vein visualization. In addition, you can create and check support and repair requests 24 hours a day, 365 days a year.